What's up guys, lately I've been using the custom instructions feature from ChatGPT and I've found a pretty good prompt that allows you to write SEO optimized content right in the ChatGPT interface which you can post on your blog post and be confident that you rank for those specific keywords. If you haven't used custom instructions before, I believe this feature is now available for anyone with ChatGPT, but essentially you head over to your name or your profile and you'll be able to give more specific instructions to ChatGPT so that it can follow these instructions and write the way that you would like ChatGPT to write. So there's two boxes here. The first box is the objective in which you tell um, ChatGPT that you would like to achieve. So for this example, I've told it that we wanted to write SEO optimized blog posts that will rank on Google for the keyword, how to brew coffee at home. And you can change this to any keyword in which you're writing or trying to rank for. And also write in a human-like manner that has low to zero AI detection. I kind of just threw this in there to see if we can get a low AI detection score and much more human-like content. Next is where you need to enter how you would like ChatGPT to respond. So I told it in order to write SEO optimized blog posts and rank for the keyword how to brew coffee at home, you must optimize your heading. So have an H1 tag with your target keyword, use additional headers like H2 and H3 to break up content, include target keyword in the first 100 words of your content. That's very important uh, for ranking and for keyword optimization. Include keywords naturally in the content, use the phrase and this is the old um, keyword in which I was using. We use the phrase how to brew coffee at home and variations of that target keyword naturally throughout the post avoid overuse. Include LSI keywords. So utilize latent semantic indexing keywords. So these are keywords or phrases related to your primary keyword. So that's going to allow us to get um, variations of our primary keyword and let the AI use those keywords naturally throughout the article. And lastly, I've told the AI the first thing that I want you to do before even writing the article is to generate a list of keywords related to the target keyword, generate a list of questions and topics also for that keyword. Then I want you to use those keywords and topics to write the outline for the blog post, and then I will prompt you to write the full article. So this is the custom instructions. I'll leave a link um, for this in the description below this video if you'd like to try out these custom instructions for yourself. So once I've went ahead and saved that, Next is to actually go ahead and write the content. So first, what I told it was I told it to create an SEO optimized blog post for the keyword, how to brew coffee at home and be in depth. And this was the outline in which we got back. Um, I would say it's a pretty decent output, but I don't think it really followed the instructions. So next, what I did was I told it to do the same thing, but use the custom instructions um, that we entered um, in ChatGPT. And now we were able to get a more SEO optimized um, blog post. As you can see, it actually was able to um, include the h1 tags h2 tags h3 and so on so that you can easily go ahead and change these tags when you're um, posting your content on your website so we get a pretty in-depth and seo optimized blog post um a blog post outline for um, this specific topic next what i did was i generated the full article so what i told it was now i told it to use the instructions for writing seo optimized blog posts write the full article but write each section individually include lists tables and charts and do everything you can to optimize a rank for the keyword how to brew coffee at home so it then went ahead and created the seo optimized blog post you have the intro section one you have the h1 which is how to brew coffee at home and i believe it did um, include that keyword within the first hundred words let's go ahead and test this very quickly it did mention the target keyword in the h1 but ideally you would want to include that keyword within your intro then we get section two, we get an H2, we get a nice chart here, a comparison of coffee maker options. We get a section three, which talks about the H2 of mastering coffee brewing techniques and so on. So forth, H2 again, crafting your ideal cup, H2 beyond the traditional flavors and variations. And because I told it to generate section by section, it generated half of the article and then generated the second half. I do this because you're able to get more in-depth and longer articles. Section seven, caring for your coffee tools. That's another H2. And the last H2 is a conclusion. So we get a pretty decent output here. Um, I would say it's pretty in-depth. I like the charts. I like the tables, the list. Um, so they were able to do a fairly decent job. So now in order to test the content optimization score, I use New and Writer. If you haven't used New and Writer before, it's very easy to use. Essentially, you just enter the keyword um, into the new query. And then New and Writer will go out and pull all of the most important ranking factors for that specific keyword. And you have it all within your content editor. So you see the targets um, length that you need to have 
for this specific article. And you also see the terms that you need to include within your article and the terms that you need to include within your headers. So for this blog post, all I did was I copied it over, pasted it into um, New and Rudder, and I created a title and a meta tag. And we already have a content optimization score of 65. So I didn't change any of the content here that we got back from ChatGPT. And we got a pretty high uh, content optimization score. So now what I would do is I would manually go ahead and include some of these terms in headers and terms in article to at least to try to get me to a 70 or 75 um, content optimization score. But again, as you can see here, um, ChatGPT did all of the heavy lifting. If we were to just write an article about how to brew coffee at home, I guarantee you the content optimization score would not be that high, but because we were able to prompt it and use custom instructions that allowed us to get a much higher score. So now I'm gonna do some manual content optimization. So first I'm gonna include terms in headers within the H1. So H1, it's telling us that we need to include the term make coffee. So let's go to our H1 tags, how to brew coffee at home. So what I can do here, I can combine some of these other keywords into our H1 tag. So the original H1 tag was how to brew coffee at home. In brackets, I have best ways to make coffee. And as you can see, we got a bump with inner content optimization. Sometimes you have to be a little bit creative in how you can kind of merge those um, words into your H1 tag so it all makes sense. So you can use brackets like I did to kind of combine it with another, um, another term. So now that we have the H1s, let's go ahead and scroll down to the H2. So brew coffee is something which we need to include more within our article. So we have um, our H2 here. So let's go ahead and see how we can include brew coffee into our H2s. Okay, so if I went ahead and changed this around, must have tools to brew coffee at home. And again, we are able to hit that um, that keyword. And we also were able to hit the keyword coffee at home. And we've went all the way up to a 72. So now let's go ahead and continue this and see what else we can do for H2s. So we've went ahead and added in some of those H1 and H2 tags. And as you can see, we're all the way up to a 75 optimization score. Now what we can do is we can head over to the terms in article and again, as you can see here, ChatGPT did a really, really good job. It's pretty much included all of the target keywords um, the right amount of times within the article without overly optimizing the article or leaving out any um, terms. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this article. I could probably do some more manual optimization to get it to an 80, but overall, I'm happy with the score that we have. I'm happy with the content um, depth and the format of the article. And most importantly, I'm happy with the content optimization score. I highly recommend that you give the custom instructions prompt um, a try for yourself and see the type of results in which you're able to get back. Again, I was very happy with the content optimization score that we were able to get from ChatGPT because ChatGPT is really good at creating content, but it's not that great at optimizing content. And that's where custom instructions allow us to um, do much more optimization compared to just writing content by itself on ChatGPT. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.